Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy. So today I just wanna show you the menu system of the Full Sun T1 Pro so that you can have a good idea of how you can control this printer if you choose to buy it. Now I did do a full review on this printer and if you're interested in seeing that, I'll be sure to leave a card somewhere on the top of the screen or if you don't see it there, check the link in the description. It will take you to my full review of this printer. But I'm just gonna be going over the menu options and that's something that I did not do in the review. All right, so let's get a closer look at that screen. So this is what the home screen looks like on the T1 Pro. And as you can see, we have five different menu options on the left hand side. And then over on the right, it's just giving us some basic information about the printer. All of these things are not interactable. So for example, we can see the speed that we have here, 1000 millimeters per second. That's not going to be the print speed all of the time, but it can hit that 100 millimeters per second occasionally but again that's not the print speed you also got the acceleration speed and the size of the build plate and then up here at the top we got the wi-fi icon because i am connected to wi-fi we've got the hot end temperature right here which is fluctuating we're about 16 degrees celsius give or take and it's fluctuating the bed temperature is currently at 18 degrees celsius and we have the time here all right, so you can't do nothing else here on this screen. So let's move down to the second menu. This is the print option screen for the different things that you might already have loaded up on the printer. Now it does have internal storage. You can also put in a USB stick right here and you can transfer your slice files from the USB stick to the local storage. And here is what you have here. Now, unfortunately, you can't scroll through like this, like you would with a phone screen. Instead, you have to go over to this scroll wheel right here and just kind of drag it down. And that's how you're going to be able to pick the things that you want to print. But once you do choose something that you want to print, here are the options that you have. You can enable vibration compensation, bed leveling, and you can engage the time-lapse mode because the camera for this printer is located inside the chamber right there. So you see that's where the camera is right there. It is in a fixed position, so you're not gonna be able to move it. So you'll be able to see your print in action, but once it gets to a certain height, you're not gonna be able to see it anymore. But until then, you'll be able to keep an eye out on it. And then the time-lapse is gonna save to the printer and then you'll be able to move it over to a usb stick and then you can watch it on your computer you can also enable the bed leveling if you want and then there's the time lapse mode it also tells you the time is going to take to print your model as well as the approximate amount of filament that you are going to be using so let's go back and that's the print menu the next one is going to be for control. So we have movement on the X and the Y and the Z in increments of one millimeter, 0 0.1 millimeters and 10 millimeters. Now, if I go ahead and I try to move, let's say the X, you know, it's going to tell me I have to home first. So let's do that. Here is the home button. And as I hit the home button, you're going to be able to see the effector doing its thing and moving around. So that is the effector right there. So I'm just gonna say 10 millimeters on the Z and I'm just going to press down and you can see it moving there. This isn't something that you'll really need to do most of the time. So next over here, we have the control setting, and this is where you can control some of the temperatures. So they have these preset uh, temperatures right here for PLA, PETG, ABS, and then cool down just cools everything down. And then over on this side, you have options for the extruder. When you want to put filament in and when you want to take filament out. So for example, if you want to load filament, you'll press this down arrow and then it says load and then you choose the temperature that you want to uh, heat up the uh, nozzle to so that you can put your filament in. By default, it's 240 degrees Celsius, which for PLA is a bit high. So I like to just change it 
to like 200 degrees Celsius. So I like, I'll just do that. And then I'll hit yes. And then I think that's a more appropriate way to, um, to load your filament for PLA. Otherwise at 240 is going to be very high and it's going to start oozing. And then you have to wait for it to cool down in order for it to stop oozing so much. But if you don't want to choose these preset options and you just want to either heat the nozzle or the bed independently, you can do that just by touching on the appropriate Celsius icon right here next to the beds and the uh, nozzle. So you see it's at zero. If I wanted to do 40, I could just have it go up to 40 just like that. And if I wanted to do the nozzle, I can just click on that and then just heat the nozzle to whatever temperature I want to do. Next is going to be the fan option. You can turn on the cooling fan. And as I said in the review, this printer can be pretty loud. So the fan is on right now only at 20%, but I can just continue to increase it in increments of five. And I'm not sure if you can hear it through the microphone, but it is getting a little bit louder. And you can also just turn the cooling fan off from here. The LED lighting option is here as well. You can just click that and turn off the lights let me just move this up a little bit you may be able to see it so the lights are off now now they're on you can see them in the corners and now they're off again but you know i like to leave them on so there's that and then we've got calibration which is just for vibration compensation and bed leveling so you're going to run the vibration compensation when you first get the printer and you're getting it set up that's going to be one of the first things that you do i have not used vibration compensation after the initial setup but i do use bed leveling every time i start a new print after the printer has been off for a while. For subsequent prints, I don't level the bed again and again and again, and I found that most of the time, it works out just fine. Sometimes I do have to re-level the bed, but most of the time, I don't. All right, so now this is the option for your account. You just select the region that you're in. So for example, I'm in North America and I can say confirm. And then it's going to have this QR code that you can stick scan if you want to get the uh, the full sun world mobile app. If that's something that you want to do. WLAN is for your uh, Wi-Fi connection. You'll be able to connect to your Wi-Fi network from there. It'll also show you your IP address that you can type into your web browser and you can get access to Clipper. You'll be able to view the webcam or the camera that's inside of the printer and you'll be able to have access to all of that good stuff. General is for some of the other settings that you can turn on and off, but I leave them all on because these are all very useful. Power off resume is useful. So if you lose your power, if it comes back on before your prints lose grip to the build plate, you'll be able to continue printing. And there may be a little bit of an imperfection where the print is being restarted, but you won't lose the entire thing. Filament detection is if you run out of filament and it detects it, so it's going to stop printing and give you an opportunity to fix that. Auto sleep is just going to go to sleep if you want it to or never. So you can have it up to one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes or never. I'm just going to say never. And then language. And then at the bottom, you got brightness. So you can just move the LCD screen brightness to be lower or higher. I usually just keep it at the max. And then lastly, the last option for this folder is for everything that you have stored on the local storage. So you can go to the models folder. You can see all the models that you have here. You can delete them from here if you want. The videos is going to be for the time lapses. They are stored on the printer, but when you have your USB stick inside, you'll be able to select these and you'll be able to move them to the USB stick, but you can't watch them on the printer, something that I wish you could do, but you can't. And then lastly, logs. If you just wanted to take a look at your logs, they are right there. And that is it. That's the settings for your pre-printing. Uh, it's very easy, it's simple. And uh, I think that just about anybody will be able to figure it out and not have too hard of a time doing it. But right now I wanna show you what the settings are gonna be like when you're actually starting a print. All right, so I got the filament all loaded up, so let's start a print. I'm just gonna print out this one piece of tabletop miniature terrain. So I called it storage, so it's just right here. I'm going to enable the bed leveling because I haven't printed something on here in a few days. It's gonna take an hour and 30 minutes and about 40 grams of filament. It's a black filament that I'm gonna be using from Deeply. 
and print. So first is going to go through the bed leveling process after it's brought everything up to temperature. So now the print has started. So here's the options that we can see on the screen now. Now, first, you still have access to all of the other options that we had previously, and you can also still go to all of them if you want. All right, so you're not locked out of that. But for the actual print settings, you can see the current speed that the printer is moving right now and the current time. And then you can also choose to increase or decrease the speed of which at which the printer is moving. I'm at 100 percent. I'm going to keep it that way. But I could just push the uh, minus button and that will have it go down to like 90 percent. Or I can just speed it back up again and then it goes back up to 100%. You got your temperature settings right here. I'm rocking the 230 on the hot end and the 60 degrees Celsius on the bed. And once again, if you wanted to change that, you absolutely could to whatever you want it to on the fly. You can change the Z offset. So if you are printing and you feel like the bed leveling is not quite doing its job and your Z offset is a bit too high or a bit too low, you can adjust it here in this menu. So you'll be able to go up the Z offset or down on the Z offset. You can pause the print here and then you can also cancel the print by hitting the X. And if you wanted to, you can also swap out for a different color if you want. In order for you to do that, you would simply pause it and check out the review video because I do go into that a little bit. You will simply pause it and then you will go over to this uh, filament menu control option right here. And then this is where you would just simply have it take the filament out by pressing up on the extruder. You would put the new filament in down on the extruder. The effector, the thing that you can see moving right there, it's going to move towards the front of the plate is going to purge a little bit of the filament, then it's gonna go back and it's gonna start printing again. So the process for swapping your filaments is very easy even when you are mid print. So I'm just gonna stop it right here. And I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. So until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.